Hi everyone, today we're going to have some more practice playing 16th notes uh, in a tune called Mockingbird. So let's uh, just get our music up here first. So if you're a violin, you can take a screenshot of this. If you are a viola, here's your music. And cello and bass, here's your music. So I'm going to go back to the violin page, but uh, you can have your music out so that you can see it, uh, whatever is easiest for you. And I'll move down here so that I'm just covering the bottom part. Uh, so the first thing to notice is that um, there are several groups of 16th notes, right? And 16th notes, in this case, come in a grouping of four, but just like with eighth notes, each one of these is called the 16th note. And you could see just one of them two, three, or four, the way that they're grouped uh, right now. So we're just working with the groupings of four for today. Uh, you can also see we have some eighth notes. We also have some slurs uh, in here that we'll have to put in, some quarter notes, and some half notes. So a lot going on in this. We're going to take it a little bit at a time. And we're actually going to start right at the beginning um, with the first it's really a measure and a half. This actually is half a measure because four sixteenth notes are one uh, one beats worth of sixteenth notes. So uh, this is really a pickup measure. Um, and so with our sixteenth notes in music class, you may have called these tiri tiris. Um, so if you were counting this out in music class, you would say tiri tiri ti ti ta. Um, sometimes we like to use numbers though. So um, for this because it's on the second beat. I know that seems confusing, but it is on the second beat of the measure. Um, we call it two E and a, uh, one and two. So however you need to say it so that it makes sense to you. And when you play it, it's going to sound like this. <laughs> Uh, 2e and a 1 and 2. Okay, let's try that together. Ready, and uh, here we go. And the best advice I can give you on that is to make sure you really are in the middle of the bow when you play that. Um, if you try to do it at the frog, you'll get a scratchy tone like that. Um, and playing all the way out here at the tip is never comfortable for an extended period of time. So we're going to be right in the middle. So let's play that one more time. Um, the first measure and a half there. Uh, ready? And uh, here we go. Good. Then we have a rest, a quarter rest. And then their next set of 16th notes, which, come, which comes in on an E. Let's try that. You can probably sight re read that pretty easily because it's the same thing we just played, but down a pitch. So ready, and uh, here we go. Awesome. Let's put that together. So from the beginning, ready, and uh, here we go. Rest. Awesome. Then we have another rest, and then we just have some eighth notes for a little while. So D, D, E, 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 G, F sharp, E, and an F sharp half note, a two, a two beat note that's going to feel pretty long um, with the slow tempo that we're taking. So let's start, um, if this is uh, measure four, right? We see it says measure five on the second line. So one measure before that is the fourth measure. And we're starting on beat two because we have a rest on beat one. Okay. So we have a bunch of eighth notes and then a long two beat half note. And make sure you get in those slurs in measure six. Still in the middle of the bow. Ready? Here we go. Slurs. So again, that feels pretty long for that half note. Um, if we were to take this a little bit faster, um, we would obviously increase the speed of everything. So that would feel not quite as long. And maybe we'll try it a little bit faster after. Let's go from the beginning all the way to this F sharp half note. Okay, setting that bow in the middle still, finding our F sharp. Ready, and uh, here we go. Rest. Two. 
awesome. And then uh, we can see the next part is very similar to the beginning. The only difference is that it is marked as piano or soft. And we do have a retake to get down to make this a, a down bow. And we'll worry about that in a second. So it's the same notes as the beginning, but it's piano. So it's softer because we were mezzo forte or medium loud before. So we don't even need to practice this quite yet. But we should make sure we have the ending down. So again, it's eighth notes. There's some slurred eighth notes. And then at the end here, this is, remember, a tie, which means it's uh, connecting two notes that are the same pitch. And we add the beats together. This is a half note, so it's two beats. And a quarter note, so it's one beat. Two plus one is three. That's going to be a three-beat note for us. So let's start um, at the second beat of measure 12 on the F sharp eighth note. And it's going to go like this. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so now at this tempo, we should be able to get through the whole thing. I'm going to move my video back down over this three-beat note. We'll just remember that is a three-beat D. Okay, so let's play through this whole thing. We're going to make sure we follow the dynamics. And I, I forgot to mention, when we get back here, this is forte, which is louder than we even started. So we're going to be medium loud, soft, and then loud. So our loudest will be at the end. And we also do need to make sure that we get this retake in. Okay, so a lot to think about, but I know you guys can do it. We start in the middle of the bow, thinking about those 16th notes, either teary, 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 or... One E and a two E and a. So ready and a, here we go. Rest. Rest. One, two. Retake and piano. show you an example of what it would sound like if you bump this up a notch and played it a little bit faster you might need to spend some time practicing it um, slower to make sure you have the rhythm down to make sure that at the ending some of those notes are a little bit tricky with the string crossings to make sure you have that down but once you can play this perfectly the way I just played it then it might be time to challenge yourself and try to do it a little bit faster so I'm gonna uh, give you an example of what it sounds like faster and if you need to come back to this maybe later in the week that's okay Okay, so ready. Uh, let's see how fast do I want to go. Oh, it's always important to hear the music in your head before you start, so you know what it's going to sound like. Ready, and uh, here we go. Rest. tell you I did make a mistake in that I don't know if any, I don't know if anyone caught it I only played this as one beat so that actually was incorrect what I did I caught it as soon as I did it but I didn't want to stop so um, when you play it you can make this two beats one two okay so keep working on this uh, I think these 16th notes are a really good thing to master so that uh, as middle middle schoolers next year you'll have it down um, and again if you want to send me a video I would love to see how you sound playing this